welcome to episode 22 of the Sun Resort Vlog. Today we're going to do this episode live. Because um, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about today. I couldn't really think of it, so I figured we'd do this episode live. And um, questions and stuff in Q&A. <laughs> episode 22, here we are. I don't know how long the episode is going to be. Um, but, 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 it's a five-star vial rune and no money but um but yeah can farm some giants hang out live the dream with shooting star so shooting star is not your name anymore what is it then shooting poop all right hanging out with why shooting poop <laughs> it's kind of silly because why would you want to be shooting poop What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to be a poop cannon. That does not make any sense at all. I'm going to be a poop cannon. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. But it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. An elephant cannon does not make any sense either. Because then you'd be a shooting elephant. Not a shooting poop. Puppy. A shooting puppy? What's up, Ty? So, um, in terms of progress on the account, uh, I haven't really done much. I've just been farming, trying to get runes. we are getting five-star runes, but they've been, like, attacker runes, which I'm not really looking for right now. Um, I finally four-starred my bear man. I got another mystical scroll that I used. It ended up being the fire magical archer, but I bet it. Should have kept it, I guess, but I didn't. <laughs> Ty, it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. What? The shooting pups. But you didn't shoot them, you threw them. Those are the throwing pups. Shooting. They just keep on going. <laughs> What's up, CTS? Uh, welcome to the stream. About the gun pups. The gun pups? <laughs> where, where, where are the guns? What? Okay, I'm waiting. That's definitely a marker. That's that's definitely so now. <laughs> it's a highlighter making sound effects. Sharpie. Huh? Here, I got one for you too, Ty. Here, let me add to that. <laughs> hey, ready for it. Go now. Oh! Are you shooting me with a comb? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Kito, what's up, buddy? It's three AM. Where, where, where are you at, man? I am a gun pup. I am a gun pup. You're a gun pup. Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a pillow gun? It's not gonna work out. Uh -huh. That's not gonna work uh -huh. out. And why are your dirty socks in here? Oh. That's a butt pillow? What? And you have it on your head? <laughs> the Republic of Georgia. Black Sea. 
have no idea where that's at. That's where uh, that's where Google where Google comes into place. How how you guys doing today? You guys having a good day? Hold on, let me, let me Google this. Oh, yeah. Public, the public of Georgia. Oh, okay. A country at the intersection of Europe and Asia is the former Soviet Republic that's home to Caucasus, mountain villages, and Black Sea beaches. Famous for Vardzia, a sprawling cave monastery dating to the 12th century, and the ancient wine-growing region Kakheti. I hope I said that right. Uh, the capital... I have no idea how to say the capital, is known for the diverse architecture and maze-like cobblestone streets of its old town. What's up, H. Kun? Yeah. Pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. <sighs> so, um, the agenda for today... <laughs> Uh, so I've been trying to farm GB5, man. Um, I mean, it fails every now and then. You know, depending on if we land attack break and glancing or not. But so far, so like if if I land attack break early or any time in the battle, we win. If we don't, well, we... <laughs> so I'm just kind of like been running this all day. I need to get my Dark Warbear stronger because he actually absolutely crushes the boss. Uh, my TOA 30 day? Uh, I can't remember, man. I think it went all right. I don't remember. Ooh, that's a nice five-star blade room. Or, um... Mm -hmm. oh, but I don't want to replace that room. Oh, yeah? 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 Just shoot me. Why are you shooting me? Shoot you with the sock. With the sock? Oh. You're a toot. 13% HP we're gonna sacrifice. Power this rune up. Yarn shoot! I think we made it to like almost to 50. Yarn if I would have spent money on the count, I probably could have made it a lot fun. You grab two brownies? Did you get ice cream with those brownies, bro? <laughs> Dude, I I had imagined that Hall of Heroes, this one, like with the brownie magicians, have to be this crazy. Uh, JPEG eight twenty eight says, "Sub TMG, I'm in a dilemma. I have Marshall Cat for Beretta's fusion. I need the other fusion monsters. I have more pieces for the McKean fusion than I do the Beretta's fusion. Should I just go ahead and get McKean before Beretta?" Um, I mean, you honestly, you're gonna end up fusing them both anyway. So, I mean, if you can fuse me, can fuse her. But eventually, I mean, you'll get both. You know, so yeah, might as well. What? You you gonna fight? Huh? You gonna fight? Yeah. Sure. You gonna fight? Fight. My name is not you. My name is Toot. <laughs> DMG. Don't you you don't tell me what my name is. Nope. And you just steal my, my, my comb? Really? That's what we do? That's what we do? <laughs> but Ty, man, the Girl Scouts cookies are amazing. I like those uh I keep forgetting what they're called. The ones with the oh, coconut? That's oh. my birthday. It's mm. my secret. What's your secret Girl recipe? Girl. Girl Scout cookies? Is your secret how is that your secret recipe? Bacon and chocolate chips? Chocolate covered bacon? Oh. Bake. Oh, 
So you put the bacon and the chocolate chips in the oven. Right? You put the bacon and the chocolate chips in the oven. Just the fried one. What are you talking about? The Girl Scout cookies? Uh, I mean, you gotta understand that. Uh, so, uh, Uro Fork? Yeah. <laughs> This is where worth building if you have Galleon. But Galleon and Luer, like, although they both break defense, like AoE defense, like, Luer brings a different mechanic, like with the AoE attack war reduction and basically an AoE attack speed reduction. So, I mean, they're two different units, although they both have AoE death break. So, um, Galleon's going to be a little bit more universal, right, because he doesn't apply damage. So, like, you don't really have to worry about glancing. But Luer is just going to bring a little bit more utility. So, I mean, really, it's up to you. I mean, Galleon's more the shortcut, like if you just want to focus on Galleon because he's going to apply to more things, but the wear can be nice in other situations too. Make, Especially if you need the ATB reduction. I make, make girls. You make Girl Scout cookies shaped like chicken. That's chicken. That's <laughs> not a cookie. Yes, it is. It's definitely chicken. <laughs> Speaking of chicken, what do you want for lunch, my dear? Hmm? You want poop for lunch? How, shooting poop. How are you gonna? I am shooting. <laughs> 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 decisions, decisions. Yeah, man, I mean, honestly, dude, it's like, uh, it's, you know, it's, uh, what, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's, you know, whatever, whatever fits best in your account, dude, you know, like what you're going to use for the longest period of time. So like if Galleon is going to be a big investment for you and just work on Galleon, but you can start getting all the love he needs early on. You know, if you have no plans to work on the just put him in storage, you know, maybe, he, maybe he'll come up later. Maybe he won't. Uh, Kito says, TMG, do you think I'll be able to auto GB10 with, uh, just Veral 6-star, um, other monsters, Darian, Shen, Bella, Bernard, farming, GB7? Uh, yes, definitely, dude. I mean, you really don't, truth be told, if your runes are good enough, you don't even need a 6-star. Um, but, I mean, yes, the answer is yes, but it's just making sure that your stats are there. So, like, do your, uh, the people, like, applying the attack break, like, Bernard and stuff, have 50% accuracy, right? Or do, uh, do you have enough HP across the board on your team, enough defense, you know? Because, uh, however, because, like, if if you're not hitting the threshold, you know, with the runes, then the six-starring the units can help because it's, you know, obviously an extra increase to uh, your stats. So, yeah. 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 Me. What are you what are you gonna do? You're gonna cut out snowflakes? Snowflakes Yeti, where did where what is this? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Feo, no, I don't, I'm, I'm not allowed to really use reps, uh, for, you know, scenario or, uh, giants. I can only, I, I, I've only used reps for, like, secret dungeons, right, because who cares about that. But, uh, everything else, I'm, I'm just gonna do, like, from scratch, you know what I'm saying? See if you can see. But, I mean, this team that you guys are looking at here is pretty much gonna be my giants, be everything team. <clears throat> Cause I'll get enough damage from uh, the Dark War Bear Lizard and combo, and then I got the rest support. I haven't decided if I'm gonna get Bernard or not, cause I really, really like the Tion safety with the HP lead and the Resurrect. Cause then I could just increase the speed on the on the entire team, and then I don't really have to worry about it. <coughs> oh, oven's done. Really loud. Yep. Yeah, gonna make sure you know you got a text message, right? Hey. 
Yeah, Bella Skellis will be nice, man. Oh, so I gotta finish my Shannon, and I need Warbear Skillups, uh, Lizardman Skillups, Teon Skillups. I need all kinds of Skillups, man. Like, once I get T on max kill, that means team would be unkillable, man. <laughs> It'll be unkillable. I mean, you could replace Bernard I, with, with Mav to be more creative, but, I mean... Daddy, Snow is rich! Mav is meh. Snow is rich! Hey, you got boogies in your nose. This is like a big old booger just, rah, just hanging in there. Go get tissue. Get it out of there. It's like, hey, my daddy. Here I am. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat you. Snowy is rich. Look, give this to Snowy. Oh. He has a... Just read the number on 208 million. What do I think about Dark Heart? Dark Heart is good, man. Especially with their regen and the speed increase. But the the thing that makes Bernard so so gravy is, um, is the fact that he increases the attack bar of units. You know what I'm saying? So you get the thirty percent attack bar increase and the speed boost. So that double whammy is what makes Bernard Bernard. You know, like if you have one without the other, then it's it's kind of the same thing, but not really. <clears throat> But, but, Dark Hark is still a boss. A lot of people use him in raid. I mean, you can use him in a lot of places, especially with the regen uh, that, that comes with it. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, if I agree with him, but, I, you know, again, it's just, um, you know, Bernard's there, again, for the attack bar increase, speed increase, and the attack break. But I have the attack break already. I have the attack bar increase. So now that's the only thing that's lacking is the speed. Then I can do that just by getting better runes. So, could I get away with? Because, I mean, the reality of it is, is I just don't really feel like farming more. <laughs> so, like, if I get lucky and I pull, like, uh, you know, like a Bernard out of, like, a scroll or something, then that's one thing. But, like, otherwise, like, I just don't feel like wasting the energy. What What's this paper say? 2.80156 million. That's a lot. That's, uh... Look at Dogger. Millions. 280,000 million? That's so a million times. I don't even know what number that is. <laughs> Guess we better get out the handy dandy notebook here and check out the cal calculator. Uh, Let's see. Really? What, what is that? So, what? million? I know, I was being on Holy crap. Look. It's the big. They even gave us a letter in there. I know how to read that number. Big number. <laughs> Darn it. <clears throat> What's up, Reed? Hey, Reap, uh, send me a whisper again so I can finally uh, check that link out. Because uh, I didn't get a chance to look at the link. Hey. Can't wait to craft my first rune, though. <clears throat> Getting these little pieces. I've been waiting. The six star rune is just, it's just calling my name, man. It's just calling my name. It's gonna happen. Oh, Here Daddy. we go. Flicker. Oh, wow. Another dollar big. Daddy, get this dollar. Read this dollar number. It's over now. Yeah, dude. I mean that that concept is cool. I just I think that I wouldn't want anything covering up the actual game itself. Does that make sense? So like, 
if we did like a um if we did like the game right and then the overlay is like a border and then but it's outside and it's not covering the game i think that's pretty this cool. is the biggest one that has a billion billions i don't know and that's more than the the millions what's more than billion I don't know what I don't even know if billion is a number. Billion. I don't know a what billion. billion. I don't know what billion is. Billion. One, one, one zillion. Billion. So when we can travel in outer space, what planet are we gonna go to? No, planet crystal. Just make that up. <laughs> There's a lot of different planets. There's only one sun? Are you sure? Because the sun is a star. There's a lot of stars. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It is color. The biggest dollar of all. That, this is going to be a con a dollar. It's, it's going to become a dollar? Straight. Okay. Right, right, right. Right, so like the game itself is like a TV, right? And then the rest is just like, you know, a design around the TV. Does that make sense? Um, On my original account, dude, the highest I've ever gotten was G1. Um, that's why my, I set my goal, uh, on the secondary account to get to G2 and above, cause, thing of the past, um, so yeah, so, to be quite honest though, I haven't really been playing my main account <laughs> at all, really, I mean, I log on to get my, like, my daily rewards and stuff, <clears throat> so I've been primarily focusing on, uh, this, this little baby. On the little baby account, there's no challenge for this account. Um, what I'm doing, um, Alderman, 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 Alderman man, <laughs> is uh, I'm taking an account from the beginning all the way to Necro 10. And I'm doing it kind of like a vlog series. Uh, it's just today I didn't know what the heck I was going to talk about. So um, I just I figured I'd just stream the episode and then just uh, port it over to you. That is a huge number big number that number huge <clears throat> but like today i'm not really doing anything of consequence i'm just farming runes so there's really no um you know point i mean it's not really no point but there's there's no like uh i mean second points to talk about really it's just okay, you know, farm ruins. <laughs> so, there are other points, like when you transition to GB6, to GB7, to GB8, to GB10, right? See the 10? I saw it. I see it now. Uh, but, uh, what, you know, when we get to that, then that, that bridge I'll cross. Zero kind of looks like a. Stop. You see the, um, the 10 at the end, huh? Uh huh. Look, so it's. Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, sectillion, septillion, octillion, all the way to zillion. Billion. Billion is just billion. Um, I actually read that kind of book. Uh, this account is absolutely free to play. Absolutely free to play. Uh, no extra head starts, no advantages. Just yeah, taking it from scratch all the way to Necro 10 with the beautiful yeah. monsters that come is providing me. This account has not seen I've probably I'm probably about seven mystical scrolls in. Uh no lightning yet, so we haven't pulled a four star or anything yet. So just... An attack break. Ooh, whoop. Well, I thought we were going to win until he AOE'd us. Lost. Daddy, go ahead and put all the little dollars on this one. The little dollars? What are we going to do with the little dollars? 
You know he's going to have them for the rest of their life. Rover, you and Snoop are rich. Your whole family. Nah, not really bad luck, man. It's, uh, I think, honestly, Keto, it's, it's better that way, man. Because, you know, like, if I pull, like, an OP Nat 5, it's like, you know, like people who are watching or following the series are going to be like, oh, I ain't going to pull that, so I'm not going to be able to be successful, man. You know, so it's, um, I think it's a good thing, though, that we're doing, you know, that we're using with what's available, because this entire team that I'm using is farmable. I mean, Dark War Bear is a two-star. Tion you is given to you. Shannon, you can buy it from the shop. Bella, obviously, is farmable. And then when Lizardman is now secret dungeonable and pullable, so. You know, I honestly, I don't, I don't even care about it. Like, if I pull too soon, I won't even use it. I mean, I don't use it on my main, so, I mean. <laughs> like, I don't use too soon at all. Like she's been sitting in my box six star. Like I was kind of upset that I six started because like I, I had no plans or intentions to use her for anything. She's not max skilled. I like Mie better than uh, Chisun, honestly, and I like Emma better than Chisun. Well. Uh, depends on where you're at, dude. Like, uh, but yeah, you're always gonna be grinding runes. Grinding runes is basically the. Uh, the object of the game greedy because runes just to turn are are basically a, a measure of your progress that's how good your runes are well yeah yeah i mean just i mean just sounds good don't get me wrong like she's, she's great but I just like again. As soon as, honestly, whatever. <laughs> just, as soon as whatever to me. I mean, like I remember, like when Chisun first came out, uh, long ago, come out, and she was OP, bro. And they had to nerf her, uh, so they they raised her cooldown times on one of her skills because she was just too ridiculous. Um, and then you know the hype just kind of go, and everybody's like Chisun this, Chisun that, but. Honestly, I mean, you can do fine with or without just it. Uh, it's not really whatever, Giants. I mean, it's... I, now, with the rune crafting, I recommend GB5 or above. I mean, because now you can craft 5 and 6 star runes, so I mean... Whatever, whatever, GB5... If it's GB5 or above, dude, do it. Get it in, you know, start working on, I mean, the biggest thing is getting started to get your, uh, you know, your five-star rune set on all of your monsters. Because uh, once you have that core five-star rune set, I mean, there's pretty much nothing in the game that you can't handle at this point. Because five-star rune set, I mean, then you're just fine-tuning substats, getting your units max skill, and then it's GB10, TOA, and then your transition to dragons. I mean, it's it's literally just like that. But, but, I mean, it sounds simple, it just takes time, and then it's based on, you know, what kind of runes you get. Bruh, the beach transmogs keto were the worst transmogs I've ever seen. Like at that point, it made like I, I started to question com. Like seriously, like you guys run out of content. Like before, like because they would release monsters every month. We'd have new monsters every month, you know, and it was consistent. But now they're just throwing out these transmogs and not really changing anything in the game. It's kind of like, well, okay, so what are we doing here? <laughs> Hey, do this. Do this. But you know what they say, Keto, the thing you fear. What well, they say, well, no, Kung Fu Panda says, uh, one often meets one's destiny on the road you take to avoid it. To avoid your destiny. To avoid your destiny. To avoid your destiny. Ah. Uh, your destiny avoided. Your destiny avoided. What do you do? 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 What do you do?
Hey, Daddy. Don't mind Snowy and Robert. Look. What are they doing? I don't know. Are they getting married? Is that Snowy's wedding dress? No. What the heck are they doing? I don't know. They're just like permanently kissing. Yes. That's silly. <laughs> Yeah, there are some, you know, I have to agree with that, Kito, but, I mean, there are some pretty cool games that are cool. I have to say. Like, the apps are starting to get better and better and better. Because... Yeah, well, Kito, I mean, <laughs> it does sound like that. Rover and Snowy, but how many times are they going to get married? How many times is Snowy and Rover going to get married? You don't know? This is my cast! Don't squeeze my arm! <laughs> Let's see. Come on. Let me see if you don't have a hand. Let me see it. Come here. What's that? My <laughs> grew back. Oh, it grew back, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what? And then what are you going to do? It's a wheelchair. You have a wheelchair? Yeah. The stroller. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And a then, stroller! And then what happens? Then it's a stroller. And, and then it's a stroller. Stroller. A stroller. A stroller. A Uh, JD says, I may feed my copper next time I make a six star. I won't be getting good guard runes for a while. Daddy, my leg, my leg. <laughs> big foot, I'm big foot. You, oh. must, you must have got some good sleep because you're punchy today. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy charged a tablet too. So, play Roblox. A lot. And then the new Pokemon is coming out here. Too. Okay, so what are we doing here? <laughs> hmm? I'm not a bride. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a bride. What are we doing? What is this? Do I have any opinions on OMG Bomber quitting Summoner's War? Doggy! Uh, I didn't see your question, Root. Uh, my opinion is um, on that whole situation. Like, I honestly, I respect the man, you know, for having, having the balls to just, you know, like say, hey, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so I, I, think, I honestly think that's, that, that's very respectable. Because, you know, there wasn't no, like, here's the thing, like, for me, like, it, what I don't respect is, like, people that, like, beat around the bush and, you know, can't get straight to the point, right? But he just came out and was like, look, this is what it is, I'm out. <laughs> I, I can't do anything but respect that. <laughs> I thought it was R, I thought it was R2B2. The dogs? What dogs? Testing! Testing! I am America's President Snoopy! you President Snoopy? Yeah. What's up, Sam Beta? I will fall in fire faces! You will fart faces? In faces. <laughs> oh, how about my foot? Okay, I have positive story. I will vote in all your faces. <laughs> 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 
no, I'm at like uh, probably 1100 points now, 1200 points, something like that. What? <laughs> what? 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 What are you doing, Snowy? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop tooting on my nose. <laughs> Barrel, Bernard, Darren, Bubba, Megan, Count for GB10, but I can't get past. Yes, you can. It's just your rune sucks, man. It's just you don't have enough HP, you don't have enough defense, your monsters aren't max skilled, um, or you, you just don't have enough accuracy on Bella, um, Megan, um, or Darian. Baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bailey, man, we just did like a uh, light Inugami event last Sunday, man. I, I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna do one, but I mean, we just, we literally just did one Sunday, and we got a lot of, a lot of SDs for lots of people. I don't have enough crystals. Ugh, let's do some marina. Uh, Tarot Dark, if you can do GB9, you should be able to do it. Um, but yeah, it's just a stat thing. Stats. You guys are probably neglecting your one, your three and five, your three slot and five slot runes. Like, if your three slots and five slots are still plus six, probably a big issue. Obviously, the uh, your stat stuff. Yeah, man. Oh, really? Oh, now you're done with that? It's Roblox time. What are you gonna play? What are you gonna play? Are you hungry yet? We still got mac and cheese and bacon and chicken. Actually, I'm gonna eat all the chicken. Mouth. <laughs> oh mine. Oh mine. Poop. You poop. You poop. You're a poop. <laughs> what? Gun pup. What's a gun pup? <laughs> Guns. Yeah, it's you know, I don't, I don't really know, don't really know about all that, but, um, okay. Okay. Oh, Black. What are you playing? You're playing Epic Stickman? Hmm. Are you switching channel? Oh, are you talking to somebody else? Close to level four, but I'm telling you, man, it just takes one day, man. <laughs> just gotta be, you gotta be, um, Dabba -dabba. diligent. Uh, Dabba -dabba. So, like, when you guys look for Bella's, just like hang out, you know, hang in a channel, whatever. Just wait. Pick any channel, man. Early channels are the better ones, I would say. Yeah. Kind of hang out. Just kind of kick it. Uh, yeah. Xeros can help you in DB10. Uh, I use uh, Xeros as a primary attacker in DB10 for myself for a while. 
They're all just kind of went bye-bye. Bye, Felicia. You don't have to spam anything, dude. It's just when somebody pops a dungeon, send them, like, try to be fast, send them a friend invite. You know? Uh, quite a few people these days, too, man, are super super helpful, like, and, you know, and understand that everybody's looking for the, the SD. Uh, what's up, Gat? How you doing, buddy? Thomas, what's up, buddy? Dark Void, what's up, man? So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not about spamming. It's just, you know, trying to get those friend invites out quickly. And then once you get accepted, making the best of your time. How much HP and attack does Xeros need? I mean, HP and attack is relative for dragons. Dragons is more important about keeping negative effects off and keeping your team alive. Obviously, the more attack power, the more damage Xeros deals, the better. Because the easier it will make for you to get past the crystals and the mid boss and all that crap. But uh, again, HP is relative mainly because um, it doesn't matter what your HP is once you get to the boss because that continuous damage is going to kind of take you down regardless. So that's that's what that is. I am pessimistic. What's up, buddy? Oh, 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 oh. How much speed does Vero have minimum? Um, Swift, 200. Violent, violent 170 to 180. Minimum. But yeah, Swift 200 plus Bio 171. Hey, Dark Void, uh, you said your B2 is slow, but it works, and that's all you care about, man. That's all you need to care about, bro. Like, as long as like you're getting it done, just press play. All that matters is pressing play and living the dream, man. Press play. Zwing, what's up, man? How do I get bio before dragons? You don't. <laughs> Unless you're crafting the room. But honestly, you don't even need bio. Dude, you can do dragons 10 with swift with all giants. You can do everything in the game with all giants run. Like, legitimately. Um, you know, so don't feel like you guys absolutely need that bio. Bio is just a nice perk to have once you're able to find. Think of violin as an upgrade from Swift. Once your vial runes are close to the same stats as uh, I Pestamix says, I'm conflicted at the moment. My Shannon is super squishy and I'm trying to build her four giants. But I'm thinking of focusing on Megan since she doesn't die as easily, but I don't know. Um, you want to focus on Megan? Focus on Megan. I mean, you know, chances are you'll end up using Megan a lot more than Shannon later on. I mean, Shannon is just a nice beginner buffer unit with, uh, you know, with the AoE attack speed reduction. It can be super helpful. But the the issue is, um, if your Shannon's runes suck, then your Megan's runes are gonna suck, and Shannon and Megan will be both be squishy. Um, the thing is, like before you try to move to a different unit, you should try to understand what the problem is with your previous unit first, so you don't make the same mistake twice. Right. So if your Shannon is dying a lot, why is your Shannon dying? It's not because she's Shannon. <laughs> you know, you have to understand, you know, that her defense is, you know, low or HP is low or whatever, and then fix it. So that way, when you run into the same issue again later on, which you will with other units, you can know how to adjust that from there. Uh, grats on that, man. Rack. How you doing? No summer November? Nice, man. Something about you makes me feel like a... <laughs> Oh, what is the plan for today? We are crushing these rivals, man. Crushing these rivals. Safe team for dragons? Um, just run anything with Vero and Konamiya. <laughs> like honestly man anything that cleanses 
heals, that's that's how you make a safe team for dragons. Everything else is kind of whatever. So if you're running like, you know, Bella, you know, Vero, Kona, I mean, that's super safe and like a buffer. That's super duper safe and then like a damage too. Yeah, but uh, Reap, so on that, um, but I mean, what I mean by that is do a border all the way around. So like, uh, so we have the the top cropped and the bottom crop too. Because then on the bottom, because you can crop that up, I can put the motivational gamer bar at the bottom. And then we can put that same, like if you have like a distance, put that same amount of headroom on the top line as well. So um, so the screen proportions are, are correct. Does that make sense? And then on the top side, or I can do motivational gamer on the top and motivational gamer on the bottom, and then just have like Paragon in the middle, and then uh, on the right and left, just, you know, heroes. That idea. Does that make sense? Something like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Bella with the Cs. Oh, Bella. Boom! Look at that war bear. Look at the war bear getting in there like swimwear. Kill him. We got a tech break. I tattoo. Tattoo. Nope. Don't don't you do it. Nope. Kill tattoo. Die. Are we gonna win? Are we gonna win? If we can get that M down, we win this. We. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, Fear God says, hey, TMG, how are you, man? One question, where do you farm XP for new monsters? Um, my choice of places for what I, where I like to farm depends on what's going on in my box, right? So I always look at my box and I see, okay, well, what do I need? Do I need skill-ups for anybody? Do You know, for example. Um, so, like, right now, the monsters that I have that I need skill-ups for are my Wind Lizard Men, my Dark Bear Man, um, uh, and obviously my Light Inugami, right? So those are probably my three primaries. So I go on my map and I say, okay, well, I can get a, uh, Inugami and uh, Garen Forest. I can go over here to like Mount Runar or whatever, or Charuka, wherever the Lizardman drops. Or I can go uh, to Flame Forest, is it? Yeah, and get my Warbear, right? And or, and or Inugami fodder. So um, early on for my early monsters, it's really, it falls on who I need fodder for, and that's where I'm going to farm, because I want to increase my chances of success, and I want to kill two birds with one stone, and that's how I select where I, I spend my leveling. If I'm not looking for any kind of fodder, then I look at places like XP efficiency, and that's where I start looking at, like, Fame and Heart, or, um, you know, Aiden Forest, for instance. Uh, if I'm not capable of doing that, then I look at what's the easiest health stage for me to do, and then I just go from there. So that's that's what I look at. Uh, yeah, I'm using the one loser. Because he's a boss. Uh, Nav says, Hey, Team G, any advice on who to six star? My current five stars are Lapis, Ariel, Konamiya, Galleon, Seek, Seth, Jasun, Kaito, Baladian, Shannon, Hemos, Renaf, Frelsveld, Megan, Chloe, and Malaka. Malaka. Um, so, um, Navi, um, how, how to determine who you're going to six star first is basically on your team priority, right? So if you're working on giants, you're going to focus on giants units. So like Ariel probably is going to be one of your, your biggest primary six stars because Ariel is a healer that you're going to be able to use throughout the entire game, right? Galleon, you probably just don't have the runes yet for him to be effective. So he'll just have to kind of sit to the side. Um, but like out of all of those units, the primary six stars you're going to have are probably Ariel and Bella um, and Chasun, okay? Um, but you're going to need to decide whether you want to use your Water Archangel or Chasun as your primary primary healer and go from there. Um, Shannon doesn't need to be 6-star. Bernard doesn't need to be 6-star for a while. Hemos is going to be more for TOA. Could you use him for dragons? Yes. Kaito is real situational. Um, could you use him as your Giants attacker? Yes. But will you? Probably not. Seek definitely is not going to get the 6-star early on. Uh, neither is Sath. That's Sath. You could probably feed that dude. 
and uh, Galleon's more later. Konamiya can stay five star until you're ready for R5, and Lapis is Lapis. Uh, I'm not playing this on PC. I'm mirroring it to my computer. See. But yeah, see, I just messed up my lighting. Weird, right? But yeah, um, but yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, so that's that. That's what that is. Boop, boop. All right, let's go back to Giant. What did yet? What did yet? No, thanks for the follow, guys. By the way, I don't know if I said thank you, but if I didn't, thank you. Uh, Gat says I have Ramahan, Bernard, Shannon, Warbear, and Mav as my team, just waiting on Rakaja to replace Mav. But would you suggest swapping one of those other units, for Mav? Not really, man, because like Mav is for TOA hard. <laughs> you don't need him for TOA normal. I mean, could be good in TOA normal, but he's not really required. You know, I feel like, you know, like, in the release of Mav and his upgrades, like, everything, like, got so, um, um, you know, convoluted, I would say. Uh, thanks for the follow, Nav. Uh, what would I f get first, bro? Well, I'd get Beretta first because it's easier to get. Right, Vero's gonna take a little bit of a longer time because you gotta have five stars, right? Whereas Beretta's just four stars of Awaken, which is no big deal. Um, so Beretta definitely, um, especially like you know for TOA, because honestly, man, you guys can use Beretta for DB10 too. Um, but you know, in order, that's what I would do. Uh, thanks for the follow, uh, Jason Swag. That <laughs> gonna make me mad. Uh, you about to uh about to make your uh make your 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 mana account mad. <laughs> your mana's gonna be the one screaming at you. I'm not gonna be upset. Oh, nah, man, I mean, the font's good. Uh, Root Mag says, is Tyron a good alternative for Beretta? Uh, no, absolutely not. Because Tyron is, is again, like, not again, but he freezes, which is cool. Like, the freezing effect is cool. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't replace what Beretta does, because Beretta adds two continuous damage effects to everybody. And so the beautiful thing about Beretta is he's going to reduce their HP by up to 10%, you know, no matter what their HP is. Tyron's just going to... So, yeah, no. Um, now, Chiron is a good supplement with Beretta, but he's not a replacement. Absolutely. Uh, Gad says, what would I five-star first, Bernard, Shannon, Rama, or Bakaja? Um, I, you know... It'd probably be out of out of that group. It'd probably be Shannon, <laughs> just because Shannon, like you know, it's just one of those units that if she dies, your team is probably wiped because you don't have a buff. Uh, PVP hurts, man. Thanks for the follow, buddy. <laughs> right, you make your future self mad. That's okay. <laughs> what Keto said. Bella or Bernard? Bernard is not a priority six star. Bella probably is because you'll be using Bella for a long time, and Bernard can get away with being five star for a very long, very, very. Long time. Bella, however, will not be able. To... Hold on, I gotta throw something at my daughter. <sighs> oh, hey, how you doing, baby? <laughs> yeah, that got her attention. <laughs> Look, where'd Dr. Pepper come from? 
No, he flew. He flew over there. He flew. He flew over there. Um, <laughs> yes. No, I'm Asian. My eyes are already closed. Uh huh. H.O.S. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. I mean, he's a nice unit, you know. He's not a, like a make or break, like you absolutely need to have this unit to win. But, I mean, it's good. It's right. No, Tian and Bella. Tian and Bella, you must win. Oh, they're not gonna. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Shannon's back. Oh, glancing. Oh, oh, Tian, will he do it? Yes. Ah. Oh. Man, you gotta just see Tian fail me like that. Rip. Rip. You just toes up my butt. <laughs> Why is Snowy on the floor? <laughs> Yeah, it's so close. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see here. That's true. You know what Whatever X says, get one. Get one, put it in storage. What are you watching? What are you watching? Huh? Trying try, yeah. try and dress? Try and dress? Hold on. Cupquake. Cupquake. Lucky Penny Shop. DCTC. I don't know. What are you watching? I, I don't know. I don't know. You have to tell me. Because I have no idea. There's a lot of stuff that starts with a bit. Turn up. Shoot. Okay. The movie? I thought you said I had to guess. Hmm? Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Trolls. Trolls, okay. I need six green... Two runes. Wrapped our first rune for fifty thousand mana. Fifty thousand. Five zero zero zero. Uh, yeah, full energy is a nice starter set for Darian. But yeah, all right. So we got an hour. <laughs> I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this this the Summoners War stream episode, and then I'm gonna go ahead and port this over to YouTube. You know, um. Maybe I'll just do this from now on. Do this live every time. Easier.
<laughs> I don't know. I haven't said. I don't know. But uh, all right, y'all. I'm about to uh, switch over to that Paragon, that hashtag, hashtag, hashtag Paragon Life. And uh, we'll see y'all on the flip side. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for coming in and kicking with your boy, tuning in. And we'll either see y'all in five minutes or we'll see y'all in the next one as well.